Okay, today we're gonna be working on a Poland Wild Thing 2375. Uh, this is a homeowner's chainsaw. Uh, the guy that uh, gave it to us said he was gonna throw it away and that it totally worked, but the, all the gas lines are disheveled, broken. We already uh, made sure this primer ball, uh, that we needed to replace the primer ball as if it could work without a primer ball. Uh, we were making sure this primer ball would fit. Um, so we're gonna get to this today and show you what your options are as far as repairing something like this. Um, stay tuned. Action. Hi, I'm Budgie. We're gonna get started on this pulling. See what we could do. Uh, guy said it worked. We'll see how good it was, but he threw it out, so we'll see. All right, we're gonna start right about now. First thing I want to do is take off the bar and chain. Get that out of the way. It makes it a lot easier for working on these things. Oh, it even came with the box. Yeah. Nice and greasy. So we'll see. We're going to do a deep cleaning on this once we get it running. Clean the box, clean everything. With the pulling saws, it, it comes with it comes with your own chain screwdriver. There we go. Right. You always keep your your parts little area so it can't be bumped or knocked off or you don't want to be putting it back together and find a whole bunch of different parts all right if you can see this yeah yeah it's gonna need a deep cleaning but uh, as far as the clutch and everything it looks pretty good the bar looks nice even the chain looks good Looks like it's just been sitting for a long time. Without being cleaned, obviously. Yeah. Probably used one time and stuck in a garage. And all of them are. Alright, here we go with the chain. When you do that, try to put it down nice and gently in a certain way. Because they do tend to get tangled when they do. Very frustrating trying to untangle them things. Or it does look like this unit was uh, used once and put away. All right. Well. Not that way, but I took the liberty of taking off most of the screws. You don't have to sit there and wait. We can just figure out what's going on with this thing and learn learn how to fix it. One, let's take a look at this thing. Look at this. The rope ain't even dirty. Jeez. Oh. I know. Looks brand new, sort of. I mean, it literally looks like someone tried to cut bacon. <laughs> Let's show them the inside of this real quick. Yeah, I gotta get there. Yeah. There we go. Look at this. Look at that. Looks like bacon, doesn't it? Bacon bits. But watch this. You grab <laughs> it, it falls apart in your fingers. Yeah. All right. So the first thing we're gonna do with this is throw it in the trash. In the trash. Okay, now we're gonna dive into the carburetor. I know this unit's gonna need hoses and a total deep cleaning. So let's get started, see what we got inside here. We'll be right back. All right. What was it? 
Oh, it's for a, a carburetor. This carburetor? No. Okay, good. I was about to say, man. <laughs> Things start falling out before you put them in. Yeah. It is really just remove those nuts. We're getting into the carburetor right now. Okay. Put that up there. More bacon. More bacon. <laughs> you know, it, it could be. Uh, what is it that my wife likes to eat? That uh, that corn stuff. Grits. <laughs> grits. Yeah. <laughs> Dry grits. Ugh. We have a squirrel staying at the house. And he wouldn't even eat that. Mm -hmm. All right. Now this is for your controls, your high, low, and idle. Okay, it just snaps in here, covers these up. There and there, it just snaps in. I mean, it's optional. I usually take it off, but it does help the dust and stuff getting in. All right, first thing I'm gonna try to do is, uh, let me see. I'm gonna take this off. Okay, this slides right up. All right, and then it's just a little clip right there. Shit. All right, so we're gonna take off your carburetor, or not carburetor, I'm sorry, your choke, and it just come down here with the screwdriver get a little pop if you can see right here you just just a little squeeze right in there pops in there real nice and easy okay first thing now here oh, I can't even get out it's so brittle pull that out and showcase how bad it is I'm trying it's breaking every time Owner said it was brand new quality, <laughs> running me. perfectly. Look at this. Yeah. There we go. All right. yeah, I can't see, I, I can't even pull it out like that. It's breaking. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here. Okay, to your on and off. And can snap this right out very gently come in here okay it just if you look real close thanks Frankie if you look real close it's just around bar right here it fits right inside this little groove okay and it's same on the other side this slides right in and then pops down in okay take this and just slide this out of the way for a minute I'm not gonna disconnect it but I did I do want to show you the one part down here this is your throttle right here see it and this piece, the metal piece, that comes up here to the top, you should be able to just angle this the right way and have it slide right out. Okay, same way going in. You angle everything going the same way, slide it through that hole, and it pops right in. Excellent. We're going to cut real quick, and we'll be right back. Okay, after taking out the throttle arm, which is right here, goes right in that little hole, straight in, connects right up here, underneath here, okay? Pull it out, very simple. Okay, the next thing is the reason I put this over to the side, because the arm goes over top of it. This, you could pull right over and set out of the way. Very nice. <clears throat> now you're able to pull your carburetor straight out Okay. Looks gross. Yeah, but I've seen worse. And since we're here, let me get this broken pieces off. Same on the other side. 
uh, the hardest part about this unit is when you got to go down through these little holes. You can see that little hole right there. Right, right there. It's a little teeny weeny hole goes down in the gas tank. There's another one right here. Okay. They're very difficult to get down in, especially when you're pulling a line in. Now, some people say you can use a piece of fishing line and, and you cut the end of the, um, the hose on an angle so you can shove it down in there. And then you flip this up on its side, open here, and you can reach down with bent pliers and grab it from inside. That's probably the approach I'm going to take. There's another one. Hold on one sec. Right here. Alright, this was gifted to me. But, this is also a good one. There's your mama. Also a good one that works. You take the line and you put it right on there, pull it through so it sticks. And then you just yank it right through. I don't use it. Last time I used it, it stuck me in the thumb. Okay, so I'm gonna get inside this gas tank. See what we can get out. Yeah. All right, I'll be right back. All right, so this gasoline is clearly bad gas. If you look at it closely, it has particulates in it, and it looks like coffee, doesn't it? It yeah. looks like coffee, right? Yeah. I mean, just taking a look at the unit, you can tell somebody must have used it a couple times and then just let it sit there, which is why that ends up looking like that. Are you trying to grind it out? Yeah, I'm trying to get it out. Let me get one of my picks. All right, we'll be right back and we're gonna get these hoses taken out. All right. Are we gonna use that fuel filter too yes. or what? Fuel filter works perfect. And uh, got some line here. To trim it up to get it through this hole. It's gonna fit through that tiny little hole. Hopefully. Oh, it does, one way or another. Screwdriver here. We'll be right back. I got it. Oh, you got it? Yeah. We might have to get a smaller gauge line to, to go through there. Take and cut a nice angle out of it so you can stick it in a hole and get it to push all the way through. Um, you're close. This is a very Said, this is probably the hardest part on the, the whole unit. All right, you guys are gonna have to get out of the way and catch a glimpse any way you can. I'm not gonna get in there. A lot of times, if you can twist it, People say you can put a little bit of oil on it, just enough to make it lubed up. Sometimes it helps, sometimes it don't. Okay, look inside here. 
I see it. There it is. Right there. You see it in there? Right up there. And boom. Yeah, that's that's what we're aiming for. Now, to do this kind of work, you can use something like this. I have a big pair of pliers that also have the same angle, but it's a little bit longer to reach in further. Get that sucker, stick it right in there. Line it up. You need your light? No, I can see it, but it's just in a really hard place. Okay. All we're doing is pulling the line through, so we'll be right back. All right, if you can see inside here, there's our fuel line. Back up just a bit. There you go. Right there. I'm gonna be right here. Okay, can you see it? Yeah, I can. Okay. Barely though, so the viewers might not be able to see it perfectly. Alright. So now what I'm doing is coming inside. Trying to grab a hold of it. Let me try to push it down a little bit more. Because it sure is giving me a hard time. It's like they put this... Intentionally. Yeah. It's right on the edge of the wall. Very, once you get a grip, it's very gently. You pull, pull it down because it comes off real easy. <coughs> Excuse me. If you look at the top, you can see me pulling it through. Okay, so I got more out now. Hope that battle's over. Yeah, there you go. So get back in there. Get another grip. And pull more out. Nice. I saw that. It just flew. Blue uh, out. Look in there now. We're on our way. Yeah. Not all at once, but we got it a long ways. All right, you basically see what we're doing. We'll, we'll be back once we put the filter on. Okay. As you can see, we got it through all the way over. In this case, we only have a, so much of the line. So what we're going to use is is one of these little, it's like a line splitter. You put it on one side, like, like so, it slips right on. Then you can take it and put it on the other side, and do the same thing, and then over here, you can take it and put your uh, fuel filter. So we're gonna do that. Just gonna level this off a little bit. Okay, so. Same on this one. Nice. Okay. Take your needle nose pliers. Geez, that's not a good hole. There we go. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. Grab a hold of it just to hold it steady. And you want to put this inside there. Okay. 
Okay, now that can make a short hose into a longer hose. You give, Bingo. It, give it a room you need. The next filter. one, if I can find it, we're gonna put that fuel filter. Thank you, sir. Actually, I wanted the other one. Oh, here. Okay, we're gonna put the fuel filter on. Blow through it, perfect. So I could put this on. Everything on these fuel lines is super, super tight. Sometimes when I'm putting things on and it's really tight, I take a pair of uh, real small needle nose, I guess, and stick it inside the line about that far. And just let it sit for a little bit. It seems to stretch it just that enough to get you where you need it. Okay, since we got this, now we can go stick that back in, come up top, pull it back out, and pull this out to where, where we need it. Should be enough, right? That's pretty close. I can always get more. All right, we're going to take a break for a minute. Ready? Okay. As I always do, you have to cut little, little V out of, not a V, but a little point. So you can get down inside these little holes with these hoes. Sometimes it's very difficult. On a breeder side, you really don't need that much. You just gotta have enough so it don't come back out. sit here and fight with this a little bit longer. We'll see you in a bit. Okay. Use your fingers. All right, put a little primer ball on this. And it comes all the way through here, it goes in. It's all the way through the carburetor. It comes back out, it goes back down into the gas tank. Okay, the one that goes down here, it comes up, it goes in, right into the primer ball. So after that step, we're going to install the, um, throttle cable or rod. I'm gonna put that on and this uh no well, I'm gonna put this on first. Okay this goes down in the hole here. There's a little hole here and it snaps into place. Next we're gonna put the throttle rod on. It comes back here into the hole Comes down and around underneath everything. And take this out a little bit. Okay, come on. Be a good boy, go in there. We're getting closer. step we're gonna put the choke put the choke on this also snaps right in there squirrels in there look at the squirrel <laughs> loose in the house she likes it this snaps right in This holds it in 
place. This goes right down. And nice. Okay. Show them on the side here. That's all you that's all it does. Alright. Just gonna get that back in place. We're pretty much done here. Now we gotta put it back together. We'll be right back after we're done. You wanna get this on film? No, that's fine. Alright, we'll be right back. said well uh, once once we get this all together find out if this thing's gonna run for us then we'll come back and clean the outside do the final touch to it see it. See if it runs. We're gonna, we're gonna put some gas in and see if it's gonna run. And do what it's supposed to do before I get crazy and have to take everything apart again. Yeah. Which happens quite often. All right. Action. All right. It's trying to start. So what I got to do is I got to turn this throttle up so I can get it to run a little bit and then readjust down here the high and low.
right here. It's the one you said was stripped. That one's stripped, remember? I gotta put it somewhere. I'll have to tighten it up later. Don't do that. <laughs> it scared me. adjust it to where I needed it, okay? What it was doing wasn't getting enough, it was having too much air come into the carburetor. So once I was able to adjust this, it equaled out the air and the gas mixture. And then now, I was just getting that fine tuning in where it would just do what it had to do and not mess around. Let's try it one more time. Alright, see you guys soon. Action. I guess you're already working. All right, but what we're doing, I just put the bar on. All it does is slide right on. But when you're putting the bar on, always make sure your teeth are pointing that way. Okay, see that this is the teeth right here. Just make sure they're all going that way. Then you just feed it to it. Feed it, make sure it's all lined up, ready to go. And then you stretch it out, right? No, then you use this. This is your adjuster right here. Okay, here's your adjuster screw. So when I put this on, I gotta line it up and get that hole together. Wild thing. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Annoying thing. <laughs> That's what this was the whole time. It wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad. No, I had worse. Yeah, that that FS sixty six that we had, where we were working on it for an hour, and it only ended up being like five minutes of footage. 
I swear yeah, to God, yeah. the FS66, the steel. Uh, uh, that's that's what we're working on next. I'm taking three steels that are all apart, and I'm gonna make one out of it. It may be a long video or with three different versions, but uh, it's gonna take a while, and it's gonna be tricky. Yeah. We're basically in the next video, in case people are still following along. Uh, turning three chainsaws into a single chainsaw and they all have good parts on them but they can't make a single chainsaw individually but together they can make a good chainsaw so that's what we're gonna do is this pretty on tight I always say key of E it's a little short, uh, tighter than what I like but Well, this pretty much sums up our video with the, the pool and wild thing. Okay, well, uh, we're gonna try it out one more time over there on his trees. See if it, everything's working good. Then we'll get back to you and... That'll be the end of the video. We're Tune in next time too. We're starting on the steel. And don't, don't forget to uh, subscribe and, and like, like us. Yeah, all right guys. We're going to show you how uh, this unit works, and that's going to be the end of it. Have a good day.